Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Welcome to another Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination video. Today we're looking at Mills Lavender. So this is one of the Distress Oxides from the range up Tim Holtz range. We are going through all of the colours alphabetically and I've got an entire playlist on my YouTube channel so you can see all of the colours I've gone through so far. Uh, like I say, we're up to M through the alphabet so we're kind of halfway there already. Now Mills Lavender is a really lovely soft lilac colour. Uh, the ink pad looks much darker than the uh, label but the label is kind of more true to color but we'll explore all of this what we're also going to look at is uh, which other lilacs and purples within the distress range this might be comparable to um, once it's actually blended on paper because of course comparing the uh, ink pad lids can sometimes be a little bit deceptive a little bit um not quite correct so the first thing we're going to do is blend this color into some white cardstock as I say and then we're going to do a comparison so if you've not joined me before and this is your first time watching one of these videos please do give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel for more and of course uh, go and check out that playlist because we've got lots and lots of videos up there already for you to browse through and it's really handy when you're purchasing your next color or if you're looking for new combinations with a particular color so milled lavender is extremely pale so I'm going to need to do a lot of work for you to see this clearly. I'm just layering it up over and over until I've got a lovely solid colour. Now I'm doing this on smooth white cardstock and everything I'm using here you're going to find linked down below including the brushes, the labels that I use for my brushes and my ink pads as well and the colour chart which is downloadable from my blog. So there we go. So that is as pale as milled lavender is. A beautiful colour, as you can see, much closer to the label than the ink pad is. But I still think the label is uh, even lighter. It's not quite as pink as uh, the actual ink colour once it's blended. So let's take a look at this with the other lilacs and purples in the range so you can see here we've got milled lavender just there uh, this is part of my color chart and i have laminated this with a matte laminate you'll see it's glossy on the other side there but i've chosen to go with matte on this side so i can clearly see each of the colors but that does give the, each color a very slightly frosted look compared to what it um, naturally would be so i just bear that in mind when i'm comparing my colors um, so we've actually got blueprint sketch up here because that's the order it's in but from milled lavender that is it is definitely the palest purple of all of them um, Victorian velvet is way pinker way more of a peachy pink color um, shaded lilac is also quite a pale purple but it is definitely more on the blue side um, wilted violet dusty concord really nothing else here compares at all um, the only other com possible comparable ones let's just take a look at the pinks because we have got the top here spun sugar which i always think it goes really nicely into and there's very little difference really except for one is more pink and one has more of a purple tone which is of course going to happen but you see the shading is quite similar there and then let's just have a quick look at the blues as well just in case i think maybe weathered wood might be um possibly something we could look at mm, it's a little bit dark much darker isn't it so so there we go so really milled lavender doesn't have anything close to it that is comparable which is good i like that because that just means that i know if i'm purchasing milled lavender i'm not duplicating any of my colors too closely so let's go on to our first colour combination and I'm going to bring in a darker lilac or a darker purple, sorry, dusty concord and bundled sage. So I'm going to put the two together like so. So dusty concord is a dark purple. This one has its own video, but what I like about this because it's called dusty, it does have this sort of cloudy look to it, which works really well with the softness of milled lavender they blend together beautifully now because one is much darker than the other you need to be careful with your blending not to drag too much of the dark color into the lighter color but you can see there that has blended really really nicely now as i always say while the ink is wet i don't think it always looks as good as once the ink has dried so bear that in mind when you're looking at your color combinations so let's just give the matte 
a wipe and then a dry always dry any mat off or surface that you're wiping with uh, water or wet when you're using oxides because of course they do react with water so if you have any droplets on your mat that will affect your smooth blending then bundled sage again bundled sage does in the playlist for the distress oxide combinations have its own video a lovely soft green again is going to work really well into the soft milled lavender so i'm just going to pop this on the end here really nice color but i think it's very much underused i think because the pale colors i often find they kind of get almost forgotten because they are pale they don't shout out as loud so definitely make sure you're using those there we go just blend a little extra milled lavender up into the green because they are two different colors work them too nicely just pop my finger in there but there we go beautiful a lovely lovely color shade that is going to be absolutely gorgeous if you're you've got things like wisteria um stamps or hydrangea stamps if you've got well really any sort of florals that you have lilacs in that is going to just look stunning as a background maybe just a blended panel for you to do some stamping onto whatever it may be let's take another look at that once it's dry because of course once it's dry i always think it looks a little bit on the a little bit better a little more smoother shall we say now let's do another combination while that's drying so again give my mat a wipe with a wet towel and then a dry one as well and this one now i found when i was deciding on my color combinations for lilac um, or for milled lavender that actually it's quite difficult because purple doesn't really go with a lot it does quite clash with a lot of colors so I found really only greens and blues and pinks were the colors that I could mix them into purple really contrasts with yellow you could of course build a combination with sort of what I call middlemen middle colors between them um, but yeah, it, I just find, found it very difficult to find some good colour combinations for you that were different. Um, now, I've always loved purple, but I've always loved purple and green together. They've kind of been my, my go-to if I'm going to do a combination, as you've seen in the first one. So finding another different one for you was a little bit more difficult, but hopefully I found some that you'll like. So this one is Shaded Lilac, which is more on the blue side of a purple i'm actually going to switch up my brush because i think i've actually got something on the bristles of my milled lavender one which is making it a little bit harder to blend the ink it's not really picking the ink up i found this with a few of my brushes and i think it might be where i've used inks and oxides in the past on the same brush on the same bristles and that's caused them to kind of go a bit stiff and not really work as well as i'd like so I just switched up for a new brush here for my milled lavender and if it works okay I will give my milled lavender one a really good wash and see if that improves it and then if not I will just change it for a new one so I've got milled lavender here and shaded lilac I mean look at those now don't forget with any of these combinations that we're doing you don't have to use all the colors if you love so milled lavender and bundled sage together on their own you can use those or the same with dusty concord and milled lavender then we've got milled lavender and shaded lilac here they go together so beautifully then i'm going to take this let's just give this a little bit of a wipe i'm then going to take this into speckled egg which is a lovely soft blue so just take the brush for this one and just look how beautiful this is so so pretty and again let's take a little more milled lavender and blend the two together so when i'm blending i just work in small circles along the blend line there along the join line trying not to drag either of the colors too far into each other trying to keep the separated colors there it's really good just to practice blending by creating strips like this for you to keep as a reference um, like I say not only does it practice your blending technique but it also then gives you something to look back on and say oh well I really loved uh, that color and do you know what when I finish this combination I will show you all of my color combination swatches that I've got to keep just to give you an idea of what you can be doing if you're watching these videos you could actually be blending along with me 
if you have the colours. So lastly, I'm going in with Uncharted Mariner into the Speckled Egg just to give this a hit of darker colour. So I'm going to blend the two together. It's not going to be too much of the Uncharted Mariner, just a little on the end there. I just took that a little bit further into the lilac than I wanted as well. But look, that is beautiful. I think that is, I would say that's possibly my favourite of the two. It does have my favourite colour in, which is Uncharted Mariner so far. Um, but isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? So let's pop these away and bring in. So we've got all of the colours that we use there today. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely stunning. So this is your milled lavender between the two and they are gorgeous. So we've got Dusty Concord milled lavender bundled sage. Then we've got shaded lilac milled lavender, speckled egg and uncharted mariner. I think that is beautiful. Now, as I did say, I'm going to show you my other colour combination strips as well. And these are here. Now I keep them all together. These are all the strips that I create when I'm making these videos for you. So all of these combinations you will find somewhere. And at some point I hope to go back and be able to document them all with their names so you can easily search and find them. But on the reverse of each one, I write the name of the ink colours that I've used as well. And they're all upside down. But um, so I will be able to create a kind of library for you at some point. If you stay tuned to my channel, somehow I will get that up for you, probably once I've finished all of the Distress Oxide colour videos. So there we go, everybody. Um, please do subscribe to my channel to make sure you're kept up to date with new videos and, of course, things like the colour combinations and how you can find those. Please give this video a thumbs up as well, and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care.